Hello and welcome to another Raspberry Pi tutorial by me, the Raspberry Pi Guy. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to use a Wii Remote Control with your Raspberry Pi. By the end of this video, you'll be able to use Python to detect button presses and acquire accelerometer data from your Wii Remote wirelessly. But first, let me explain. Back in 2006, Nintendo released a revolutionary console with a revolutionary new controller to match. This was of course the Wii and its accompanying Wii Remote, commonly abbreviated to just Wiimote. As hackers, we aren't too fussed about the console itself, but what is interesting is the technology that the Wii Mode contains. It has 12 digital buttons, an accelerometer, and a gyroscope, not to mention the fact that it communicates over the easy-to-use Bluetooth protocol. All of this means that the Wii Mode is a great thing to interface with the Pi cheaply and easily. Let's take a look at what you will need. In this tutorial, you will of course need a Raspberry Pi. It doesn't matter which one you have. Make sure that you have Raspberry installed, and for this tutorial, your Pi will need to be connected to the internet. Moving on. As I hinted at before, we'll be communicating with our Wiimote over Bluetooth. Sadly, the Pi doesn't have Bluetooth on board, so we will be using a USB Bluetooth dongle. Normally, these are available very cheaply, and most should work with this tutorial. However, some USB Bluetooth dongles have been known to have issues with the Pi. In the description below, I will link to a list of verified Bluetooth dongles so you know which ones will definitely work. I'll be using a generic model that I found on Amazon for around £2. I will also link to that in the description. Finally, you will of course need a Wiimote. I'll be using a limited edition Zelda one, however this tutorial will work for all official Nintendo Wiimotes. On a side note, I haven't extensively tested this tutorial with third-party controllers, and so I cannot guarantee that they will work at all. The official Nintendo models are so cheap now that you may as well not take the risk and just get one of those. I'll include links to verified sellers in the description below. And that's all you need to interface between your Pi and your Wii Remote. Now let's get it up and running. Before we delve into the software that we will need, make sure that your USB Bluetooth dongle is plugged into your Pi like so. Once it is, power up your Pi and log in. Now let's install the software that we're going to need throughout this tutorial. Once you've logged into your Pi, there is no reason to boot into the desktop environment. We can install everything from the command line. To make the setting up process easier, I've stored everything that we're going to need in a GitHub repository. The contents of that repository are a setup script and a Python example. Let's go ahead and grab that with the command git clone https colon forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash the hyphen raspberry hyphen pi hyphen guy forward slash wemote dot git and then hit enter. You should see it successfully download like so. Now that that is installed, type ls and hit enter. You should see a new directory called Wiimote. Let's move there with the command cd Wiimote and then hit enter. Again, if you type ls to list the directory's contents, you'll see that it contains a readme, a setup script and another directory named example. Before we get onto the example, let's run our setup script with the command sh setup.sh and then hit enter. And you'll see that it installs all of the necessary modules and software for Bluetooth and Wiimote control. That should take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Now that we've installed everything, we can finally get to testing our USB Bluetooth dongle. This next step will tell you whether your dongle is running or not. If the results come up as false, then you might not have plugged it in properly, or worse, your dongle might be incompatible. The command we use to test it is sudo service Bluetooth status, and then hit enter. As you can see, my dongle is working perfectly. Only continue to the next step if you pass this test. You are now ready to use your Wiimote with your Raspberry Pi. I've included an example Python program that will get us going. Let's change the directory that is stored in by using the command cd example, and then hit enter. If you type ls and again hit enter, you'll see one Python program called Wiimote.py. I'm not going to run through the code right now, but it's very easy to understand, and I recommend you take a look at it in order to comprehend what's going on. 
In essence, this program will simply connect your Wiimote and then print the output of it. For example, if I press the A button, then my Pi will tell me that it has been pressed. The special feature of this particular piece of code is that if you hold the Home button and tilt the Wiimote, you will see live accelerometer data displayed on your screen. Let's run the program and see what happens. So before we run the program, make sure that you have your Wiimote standing by. You'll need to press buttons 1 and 2 on it as soon as the code runs. This puts the Wiimote into a state in which we can connect to it. To run the example program, simply type python wiimote.py and hit enter. Quickly hold buttons 1 and 2 on your Wiimote simultaneously for several seconds. You should see a success message like this appear. If you get a failure message, simply try running the program again. It can be quite tricky to get right. From here, we can press any button on the Wiimote and see our Pi detecting it. Let's go ahead and press up on the D-pad. You can see that my Pi successfully received it. This works for all the buttons on the Wiimote. For example, press B and a message indicating B was pressed is displayed. Now for the interesting bit. If you press and hold the Home button, this button here, you will see the accelerometer data. Go ahead and move the Wiimote to see the values change. To exit the program, simply hold the plus and minus button, like so. The controller will rumble and the code will quit. As you can see, the Wiimote is a great piece of hardware to interface with your Raspberry Pi. It's inexpensive and simple enough to incorporate into pretty much any project that needs a wireless controller. I've used it to control robots of all shapes and sizes, and I'd love to hear what you're going to use it for. As always, you can email me at theraspberrypiguy at gmail.com, and I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. That's all, and until next time, bye.